Hey guys, and thanks for joining us today for this long-awaited video of BB Bacon Boy playing some video games. I'm going to be your host and narrator, Torgu. Um, if you hear me call BB Bacon Boy by his real name, Zach, don't be too upset. I'm pretty forgetful, so I'm going to be interchanging those throughout the rest of this video. We're going to start with a little short clip of how he plays. Um, as many of you know, and as many of, as many of you don't know, he plays all of his video games with one hand. Might have, many of you will think that's a handicap, but he plays better with one hand than most of us do with two. So we're going to start off with a little clip showing how he presses all of the buttons on a controller with just one hand. Then we're going to do a little Q&A with some of the most popular questions that he've been, he's been asked, and a little highlight reel. All right, let's jump right into it. Here we've got a beautiful shot of Zach holding his controller. Um, you can see his joysticks there. He's able to control with his thumb and his palm. He palms it and moves around and uses his thumb to look. There you've got his shoot and aim buttons that he uses with his pointer finger and pinky. He can use the left and right bumpers with the middles of his fingers while simultaneously shooting and aiming. Uh, all of the A, B, X, and Y buttons for whatever game and powers they are are quite accessible with his thumb there right next to the joystick. He's able to quite seamlessly put all of these buttons together, even though he's only using one hand to do it. One of the only problems that occurs when he's playing like this is every once in a while his hand will slip off and he'll lose control of the controller. Um, he's able to quite quickly regain control of the, contr of the controller that he's using though, and usually he's able to tell when it's about to happen so he can go find a safe spot to hide in-game. One of the most common things was that BB Bacon Boy gets asked for is some videos of him playing Overwatch while showing how he uses his hands to play. So behind me in the screen we've got some nice highlights for you to watch while I go over some of the most common questions that he gets asked. The first question that almost everybody asks and wants to know is if he owns a special controller. A lot of people are aware of organizations out there who make special controllers for people with disabilities. And as you can see from the video that, where we explained how he uses a very normal controller, he has no need for any sort of specially crafted controller. He's better than most of us with the same exact controller that we all use. A follow-up once people find out that he doesn't need a special controller of any sorts is they're like, oh my god, that's amazing. What's it like to live like that? And it's pretty fun, actually. He's such an amazing, handy, capable person that he makes him pretty popular around town. For instance, he was in the homecoming court in high school, and it's a lot of fun creating interesting and unique Halloween costumes. For instance, a few years ago, we turned his wheelchair into a gigantic tank that he rolled around and scared all of the little kids with. A lot of people want to know how he first got into gaming, and his first experience with gaming was watching his older sister play Mario on her Nintendo 64. And the very first game he played was Super Mario on that very same Nintendo 64. A lot of people know if it want to know if it was difficult for him when he was first playing those games. And it wasn't really all that hard when he first started playing. Although now if he went back and tried to play Mario, I'm sure he'd have an awful time because he's become such a, so acclimated to playing shooters that he isn't used to the platforming games such as Mario anymore. The most difficult part he really has playing video games I touched on earlier is every once in a while his muscles will spasm and he'll throw and lose control of his controller for a few seconds. But as I said, luckily he can usually tell when that's about to happen and he can go run behind a wall or jump off a cliff and find somewhere safe to hide from the enemy team. People also always want to know if he has any special button layouts that he uses for certain games or anything. And for the most part, he just uses the normal controllers that come default with all of the games. Overwatch, however, has such an amazing customization options that he's able to tweak each and every character depending on if he thinks sprint for soldier needs to be where it is for every other game on the joystick. He can go and tweak character by character so that it's optimized for every single one of his playstyles. Well, this is great for him, so he can customize and play every character to its best ability. It's the worst for any of his friends like me who come over to his house and try to play games with him. Because I'll grab his controller, and I'll hop on his Zarya or Genji, and the controls that I'm used to, because I don't tweak or customize anything, 
are completely different from what he plays as. So he always gets a laugh when I jump on Genji and run at somebody and they start firing at me as Bastion and instead of reflecting their bullets, I just dash a little bit closer to them and die instantly. So as nice as it is for him, it can be a pain for all of us trying to copy his mechanics. People always are asking him what kind of games he plays, and nine times out of ten when you watch him play, he's going to be playing some sort of shooter. Um, if he's not playing a shooter, he's usually playing some sort of sports game. He's a big fan of the NFL games. Um, every once in a while he'll take a break from those games, though, and go right back to shooters. If the mood strikes him, you can occasionally find him playing MMOs for a more relaxed gaming experience. There are certain games that he can't play, however, and people are always curious to find out what games he's incapable of handling. And really the only games he can't play are the Nintendo games on the Nintendo Wii or the Nintendo handheld systems where there's a big screen in the middle of the controller. As you can see, his hand takes up the entire controller that he uses to press the buttons with. So a gigantic screen in the middle of the buttons interrupts his play and he has to play around it. So anything fast-paced with a big screen in the middle, he is incapable of playing. For how family-friendly Nintendo is, they aren't very BB Bacon Boy friendly. A lot of people also ask if he has any special sort of setup, if he has a special gaming chair or any certain position he has to be in when he plays video games. And really he just parks his butt on the floor crisscross and gets comfortable. That's the most part about playing any game is just getting comfortable and getting in the zone. People always ask how he figures out how to use his controllers for every, every time he gets a new game. And it's really a quite a simple process. If something feels weird or out of place, he changes it. He can change anything from the way he's sitting to his position to the mapping of the buttons on the controller. It's a rather easy process to get acclimated to a new game and it doesn't take him long at all. The final question is specific to Overwatch and people always want to know who he plays. And if he's playing competitive, his main go-to is a Reaper, Lucio, or really any tank, um, usually Zarya in specific these days. Um, if he's having fun and just playing quick play, some of his favorites lately have been Genji, Hanzo, and Roadhog. Uh, when he's playing competitively, really, though, he prefers to let his teammates pick first and fill in any gaps in the team, as he's quite good at playing any character in the game and can fill any role that his team needs. The most important part is being prepared and being knowledgeable, knowing the location of all of the health packs around the maps, and knowing the abilities and counters to every single character that he plays against. Thanks for watching this video, and hopefully you are enjoying the highlights and learned something through all the questions and answers we've supplied. Have a nice day, and hit the like button and subscribe when you get a chance.